like I mentioned, Lucia, what an inspirational morning already. Yes. Um, I tried to get this man on hold or get, get him uh, to speak to us this morning. This morning, I opened up the burger. Yes. And and I found this amazing story. Okay, so this is a young man that his pelgrimstog now aanvat. A um, young South Afrikaner, his pelgrimstog that vanaf Ermeloe in Bumalanga na Kaafstad lei. Um, en hy het besluit om vir boere, reen en healing of healing te, te bid. Ja. Yeah. Um, en dit het opslaag gemaakt natuurlijk op sociale media wat geleid het tot oproepe uit Me- Moskou. Nou die sien is Sia Swart. 19 jaar oud um, wow. en waar het jy op 19 so gedink? Maar Sia, goeiemorgen, morning, how are you? How good are you, sir? I'm very good, very, very good. It's amazing, amazing to get you this morning to talk to us. I know it's your off day. Um, hy is hier so in Stellenbosch, hy het gestap al tot in Gordonsbaai. Wacht, kom ons begin by die begin. Waar het die, ja, ek wil sê, mal idee vanaf gekom en wanneer het het begin? Uh, well, I get, uh, <laughs> I always had the calling from God, uh, and um, mm-hmm. in 2008, uh, about March, uh, I went for a training to be a ranger, um, I finished my training, and uh, I work after a while, and uh, so, one day I was sitting, uh, well, after a year, actually, in 2019, <laughs> Yes. Uh, February, I was sitting on my tent, uh, and uh, God started talking to me about my calling, about uh, who you want me to be, uh, well, about a lot of stuff. So one of those uh, things he talked to me about was uh, reaching out to his people, uh, uh, something like being a good example or being sure. an example. So Yeah. Sure, how the how the walk started. How did it start? It again. Then you started in April to walk from Ermelo and decided to end here in Cape Town. So you're very close now. Um, I see on Facebook you had already fifteen thousand times it's been viewed. But it wasn't that you placed it on Facebook. It you met someone on your route who then spoke to you, and it was close to the time where you thought maybe I should just just say you know call it quits. Uh, yes, at uh, that time was uh, George. I was walking uh, past George, and uh, I think it was uh, my fourth month. And uh, sure, sleeping outside on the road and the uh, rain on me, uh, cold <laughs> on me. So I was like, no, <laughs> I can't anymore. And uh, yes, oh, wow. um, and then you met Eugene. Uh, well, first my family flight uh, to Georgia. Uh, they also gave me courage. Uh, I carried on. Um, I was on my way to the Priede River. Mm-hmm. It was it was a long gravel road, uh, and there I met uh, this man called Eugene. He gave me a lift. Uh, yes. Mm-hmm. So he gave you a lift. Yes. Um, and then you just I was, mm-hmm. I was uh, of course the, the gravel road was too long and I was like almost out of water out of food and uh, mm. yes uh, so he luckily he saw something in me he stopped <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> yeah, see, yeah that's amazing so just tell me uh, if I can ask you one story that really stuck to you with your whole journey you're, you're not finished yet but so far a story that really got to your heart uh, well, this thing, it, yes, it taught me a lot. First, mm-hmm. um, first is about life. Uh, it's long as life. I mean, it was five months now. Uh, I learned that uh, even life is hard, even it's long, even it's tough. Uh, mm-hmm. Giving up is, giving up won't make it uh, faster mm-hmm. or easier. Um well, I learned funny things like um, you don't need money to be happy. Uh, mm-hmm. Yes, and I learned working with God actually. That uh, most of pe- uh, most of time when I was working, uh, I would usually pray for rain uh, for the farms and wow. 
and because I'm I'm outside, I'm praying for rain while I'm outside, and when it's raining, I will also oh. complain and say, "Ah, oh, well, why did I pray for rain? Because I'm now wet." Oh, sure. Yeah, that's so, very true. <laughs> it's so human. Yeah. It's so human, here. Yeah. But you you must have a good feeling coming into the Western Cape and seeing that the dams are filling up like it hasn't before. It, I mean, we just reached over 80%, which is huge for us, um, seeing the years that we've had of drought here. How does that feel to see um, such a difference? Well, uh, it's feeling like, it felt like this God, and, well, the God who always answers prayers. Sure. Uh, I've been praying each and every day for rain, each and every day for those farm, every step. Like, uh, Lord, please, uh, the land is dry, we need the rain, Lord, as you mm-hmm. can see. And, and it just, uh, miracles just uh, started falling somehow. Amazing. <laughs> Fantastic. Sia, you are 19 years old. We are looking up to you and we want to follow you. So you've got about, say, two days left of walking. Today is the off day, but tomorrow you, you're starting again going through Musenberg off to Cape Town, heading into, into Cape Town CBD. So we're looking forward to that and hopefully you will be reaching it on Sunday, more or less Sunday. So we're going to see if we can get you in studio next week. Um, I would love to get you here and just talk to you and, and just hear your entire story. Story. So um, I'll be in contact with you. You can also go to our Facebook page. I posted it onto uh, my Facebook page and linked it to Brady Halderberg if you want to follow his journey and, and get more of, of Sia's story. Um, Sia, good luck with the last two days and we, we're really voting for you and thanks for the great work that you do and keep on learning and, and teaching. That's basically the core of it. Ah, thanks a lot, uh. Thanks for giving me a shot and everything. Yeah, fantastic. See you. Well, enjoy your off day. We'll be chatting to you again next week. Uh, Thank you very much. Uh, Have a good day. Cheers, man. You too. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.